Доброго вечора. Триб, сайт Трибуна Ірина Козюпа. Дуже рада, що сіли на прес. Трибуна сайт. I'm very happy to uh, attend your press conference. Uh, a question uh, to Mr. Ebrov, but don't get angry with me, but I'll ask you. Uh, the loss to Romania, is it uh, players' fault or is it your fault? Or maybe you, you were wrong with uh, a lineup, what you changed for the next game? Uh, or you, you take the blame. I never distinguish players from coaches. Everyone is responsible, and I think this is correct. If we ask about something uh, about the team, it's not only uh, uh, it's both sides, coaches and players. I cannot say uh, what what did I do uh, wrong. Uh, I'm not I'm not playing with cards. You know, I'm deciding on the cards. Um, what uh, uh, line up to, to get and I'm selecting players according to their form and according to their level because the European Championship it's the highest level imaginable and I don't think that what you said uh, uh, committed some mistakes with the lineup but I'm sure every fan has his or her own uh, vision and of course we we had some problems with uh, with our lineup but uh, uh, I'm really grateful to all our players who who came on as substitutes and they help us but unfortunately Unfortunately, we've uh, got the results, what we, what we achieved. A question to Alexander. Uh, what is the state of affairs in, um, in the team? What's the mental state uh, in the team? Can we, can we expect more attacking spirit tomorrow playing Slovakia? Um, hello, everyone. Of course, things like that happen in life. Those games. And after games like this, it's better to stay silent than to say something. But I understand that the conversation with the media, it's a part of our life and our job. So I would say one thing. I really, really hope, and I'm totally convinced that everyone drew lessons from what happened, both individually and team-wise. And now I just don't want to talk about uh, the Romania game. We want to uh, turn the page and, and concentrate 100% on the Slovakia game. And I ask uh, the journalists, and I respect you, and uh, I know this is a very painful result for us, but we need to learn the lessons, and we will learn those lessons and we have to get ready for tomorrow's game. Sport novine, uh, question to Mr. Rebro. What's the uh, state of uh, Vitaly Mikolenko? Can we see him tomorrow? We shall see. We have certain injuries um, uh, with players, and uh, Vitaly um, will start uh, his training session together with the team, but we'll, we'll see. We have time, and he wasn't taking part in training sessions for more than a week. Um, someone on the right. Hello. A short question for both. How do you see the Slovakia team and how did you react to the surprising victory of Slovakia over Belgium? Um, I've always considered Slovakia as a strong team. They don't have big teams playing for uh, uh, big stars, playing for big teams, but they have um, uh, players playing in good teams. And when I was analyzing the uh, Slovakia's uh, performance, it's a very disciplined team, and I could totally see uh, what can they achieve the result with. Uh, and that was shown um, uh, during the game against Belgium. I think they they did it in a great style, and we really respect Slovakia, and we it's very important for us to concentrate on our game. If we will demonstrate our game. So if we were not going to show it, there's nothing we can do against Slovakia. Um, 
Добрий день, Сергій Захарченко, Суспільна Спорт. В мене питання uh, до Суспільна Спорт. Uh, question to both uh, Mr. Brov and uh, uh, Alexander Zinchenko. Uh, uh, after uh, first round, we have certain feedback from players, um, goalkeepers, uh, about the balls uh, which are being used. Um, uh, for instance, Peter Schmeichel was saying that this ball flies in a certain way. Uh, could you uh, share your um, thoughts on this particular ball which we play with uh, during Euro 2024? Uh, yeah, I can, I can answer. Unfortunately, uh, playing Romania, we hit the goal for the first time in the 18th minute so i don't think we have full uh, impression uh, about the ball uh, or our opinion about the ball and i don't have anything to add said uh, zinchenko thank you hello Question for Alexander. So the same as the colleague asked, uh, how do you see the game against Belgium, Slovakia's game, uh, and how do you see the strength of Slovakia's team, and what do you expect of tomorrow's game? Thank you. First of all, we expect a really, really difficult game. It's a really powerful team playing as a whole unit. They attack together and they defend together. So we understand that tomorrow, on every part of the pitch, there will be a battle going on. And whoever will come on top from every part of the pitch, that will be victorious tomorrow. So we expect a really powerful game tomorrow. Yes, gentlemen, the second row. Question to both. You heard all sorts of noises around uh, the Ukrainian team. There was a lot of criticism uh, mentioned um, after the uh, loss to Romania. How do you protect yourself from all that um, negativity? And um, someone said, uh, so he doesn't try to read anything, he just tries to block everything away. How will it help? Uh, to the team, what your psychological state for tomorrow's game. It's difficult to say um, how it affects us. When I worked with Valery Lobanovsky in Dynamo Kiev, he said, don't hear, don't listen to anyone, listen to your coach. It's very important what you think and not what the journalists think. Because journalists, they don't see the uh, training uh, process. They, they don't see any, any other bits. I think what we did after the game, we analyzed the game. And all the players understand their mistakes. And everyone also understands why we have to come out on the pitch with much bigger spirit, with much bigger desire and the spirit that is important tomorrow. That's why we understand what country we represent and we, we, we shall see how it will affect the players, but I really expect uh, a good game because the previous game was a cold shower onto our heads. Hello, question for Alexander. Uh, you are within the Ukraine's uh, team. Uh, how do you see the strength of Ukraine? Uh, is it a team that can uh, mobilize its strength after such a defeat? Uh, we all live and we all work or and we dream and uh, if we wouldn't believe in ourselves, we wouldn't be present here with you. Of course, we believe we can do it, but one thing is to say it, another thing is to do it. Clearly, after the, our first game, it's better to stay silent and do more and say less. Of course we believe, but we have to do things first. Okay, yes, a second from you, because I didn't see anyone's 
milom nula. Ešte by som mal jednu otázku na pána trenera, tak... Um, one question for the coach. When we talked to the Belgi Belgians, they said that especially Slovak midfield is very strong. So I would like to ask you, where is the strength and the threat of the Slovakia team? And which Slovak players do you think stand out? Thank you. Uh, totally, I totally think that Slova Slovakia has top players. They don't play for top teams, but they're absolutely disciplined. Uh, how they return to their positions, how they put pressure on their uh, opponents. They, they could achieve their success without uh, having top players in, uh, in their lineup. Uh, Andrzej Todos, USPA, pytanie do Sergeja Stanislavicza. Kto inny, u kogo zaraz mają, u kogo inny zaraz mają mikropuszczenia, jakie by tylko zabawiły? Kto ma zaburzenia w zespole, poza Mikolenką? W każdym razie, my graliśmy na Euro i wszyscy grają na Euro. I każdy daje swoje najlepsze. Oczywiście, mają pewne mikropuszczenia, ale myślę, że wszystko będzie ok. Сергій Сайславич, всі футболісти, і ви кажете, в тому числі, що не був якийсь той настрой, якось не до кінця була енергія, емоції у футболістів, хоча очевидно, що все максимально переживають за збірну за країну і так далі. Це через те, що перегоріли, це через те, що занадто сильно хотіли за наше переживання, і це не доробили. Or, or something that they didn't do uh, when it comes to psychology. Why did it happen? Did you realize yourself what happened? Look, this is your own. This is top level. And some players are playing for the first time at Euro. And this is a huge load for them. But I want to remind you that this team third in the uh, group and achieved got as many points as Italy in, in our group. We need to respect this team. We need to support this team. We will have um, uh, our mistakes. And it's, it's something that you can't avoid. As Alexander said, we have to forget about the Romania game and tomorrow come onto the pitch and show a different level. And I can totally see that our players understand that. And it's very important to wait for the game and see what uh, lessons yes, did we uh, learn. Hello, Michal Gavron, Sportweb. I would like to ask, uh, well, first of all, I'm uh, head of uh, to you, uh, you know, despite the f what's happening in Ukraine, that you are here. And a question for Alexander, how difficult is it to concentrate on the game and if it's more difficult than under normal circumstances? Look, I don't know how many times I will uh, reply to this question. It's really difficult to those who protect our country, fight for our independence, risking their lives. Their, their task is a difficult task. And thinking of us, that we are very, find it really difficult to uh, motivate ourselves. It's, it's just to say nothing. I don't want to say a lot on the subject because I totally understand what people will think uh, about my words after the first game. We have always a top level of motivation, but this happens. It's like a bad dream, which we have to forget about. And we have to motivate ourselves and through conclusions. I'm sure that everyone, everyone learned and it was just, uh, we have to do everything to achieve the result. Uh, will you have changes to the roster of the team? Uh, I wanted to ask uh, about the Romania game. When the players asked you to leave the dressing room at the end of the game, what, what did you, what did you uh, think about? 
Uh, yeah, I think you, you, uh, 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 reading German newspapers. Uh, of course, you live in Ukraine. You know that players can talk among themselves. This was a difficult game and a very important game uh, for the whole country. And after the game, they had this man's talk. And I think that they didn't give their 100%. And this is absolutely normal situation. Maybe in Germany this is not normal, but in our country this is absolutely normal. When, when guys talk among themselves and asking questions, what happened? And that's why I left the uh, dressing room and the players wanted to have a quiet word among themselves. Of course, we will have changes in the lineup.